So here I am at Linton Village College in front of Year 8 students and what they're expecting me to talk about is how they can guarantee a job or success in business uh, in the near future. And I thought I'd tell them a story and I'm going to give it to you here in brief. And it's really the eight points to think about if you want to guarantee that you're going to get a job or you're going to start up in business in the future. Now, the story begins with you imagining that you're holding a giant pen in your hand with which you're writing. It's really enormous, fantastically, incredibly large pen, as if you've been shrunk. And as you look up, you see that there is a clock. Tick, 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 ticking away at the time. You look to your right and find you're on a lab bench. And there is a microscope. I'm sorry, I like microscopes, so off I toddle, over to the microscope and have a look down and twiddle with the, the knobs on the side. Uh, but what do I see? I seem to be looking at a video game. The sort where you have to find treasure or solve a problem of some, uh, of some kind. And one of the things I need to do is find a screwdriver. There it is, lying in front of me. So I pick it up and I put it into my pocket. I carry on through the maze, fight the dragons, looking for the princess or whatever treasure that I'm trying to find until I come to a door which has got an enormous key stuck inside. I turn the key and open the door and there I see the treasure of my dreams. It's an iPhone. What a thing of quality, what an item to aspire to. And it's being held by a nurse in a fantastic nurse's outfit and a lovely starched cap. What the hell, I hear you say, has that got to do with getting a job or making a business in the future? Well, I'm using this story as a hook, a memory hook, so that you can remember the eight key points. Think back to the pen. That actually refers to literacy. In fact, in this country, in the UK, we still have five million people who are functionally illiterate. And it could be very difficult for an employer if a person can't read or write properly. So one of the things that anyone should really try to do is either ensure that they're fully literate, or if there is a handicap of some form that they can't overcome themselves, that they actually have someone who can provide assistance for them and account for that, and so therefore overcome the hurdle. The next step was the ticking clock. And that refers to punctuality and reliability. It's amazing again to think that the difficulty a lot of employers have is people not turning up on time to work. And when they do, and they're asked to do things, they can't be relied on to complete them. So if you can actually ensure that you can get to work on time, and that your employer can trust you and find um, that you will actually do the things that you say you do, you're already onto a pretty good winner. And one of the ways that people often uh, look to see whether you have these qualities is to see whether you've had a job in the past, say at a news agent's carrying out newspapers or some other thing um, of responsibility, perhaps working within the shop previously. Then we come to the microscope. As I said, I just love microscopes and they remind me of technology. I know it's a bit old hat now, but then so am I, look at my grey head. Um, but anyway, the microscope refers to science and technology. And these are some of the areas where we really still have the edge in the UK, in Europe, uh, and in the States. So if you find that you're interested in the sciences, in IT, in biotech, um, artificial intelligence, uh, computing, that sort of thing, um, then make that your choice, your career. Get yourself a qualification. And that's a fantastic area to work in because people are really sought after. Well qualified people are needed. We're looking down the microscope and we see the video game. And that's their creative element. It is amazing. It is fantastic the way that all these games um, and other online activities that require images, music, um, and of course the written word, creative writing as well, and how they're pervading our society at the moment. 
And we need those because people either want them for entertainment or companies need them for promotion. Um, if you're looking at the items that you own or that you possess, how much of them are purchased because they look good as well as doing the things that you want them to. So there you go. If you have a creative element, then concentrate on making that your potential future. In the video game, I had to try and find a particular item, and in this case it was a screwdriver, uh, which I picked up. And that refers to a third element you can look at. It's claimed that manufacturing is declining and it's going abroad to China, to India. But certainly in our region here in Cambridgeshire, we're finding that 20% of the companies are in manufacturing. And what's more, they're doing it successfully. Making things is really still an extremely part of our society, extremely important part of our society. I'm looking here at a webcam. I'm using my PC. Um, I've got my mug with my drink. Things need to be created. And whilst, yes, with mass production, you can get those outsourced elsewhere, but there might be specialist items that need to be created. Um, and I remember going to a company where they made specialist circuit boards. Which brings me on to the next point. Do you remember the key on the door? That's a key is specific to a particular lock. And the element there is try to be unique. If you're trying to compete against thousands and thousands worldwide, it's a lot more difficult than if you have an idea or a product or something that you can deliver that is quite specific um, to, to people. Find a niche. Find something that's unique to you, or at least unique enough to you that the competition isn't, uh, isn't too great. And that's the, the third element. With the company that I was talking about with the circuit boards, they specialised in um, just doing short runs of about 10 to 200 for companies that were either involved in research and developing products or where just a few pieces of equipment were made and they only needed a short run of those circuit boards to be made. So there we go. We opened the door and what did I see? I saw the iPhone. Now, that is not just a fantastic piece of one technology, but it looks good and it's a high, high quality item. And that was the seventh point that I wanted to refer to, which is quality. Look at quality. If you can aspire to quality, if you can do the best that you can, if you make things the best that you can, if, you, if the work that you deliver um, really shows that you are the ace in your, in your area, then that impresses your clients um, and it impresses the people around you and it ensures that you are successful uh, in life as well. And that iPhone was held by a nurse. What does a nurse remind you of? Well, for me, it's the caring profession. And that's why I used it as a memory item. Care about people. We live, yes, in a modern age where I'm using the internet most of the time. You probably are searching for products on eBay or where else. However, people are still extremely important. And if you're interacting with a client, if you're acting with your peers, if you're acting with the people working for you or the people you're working for, if you can show that you care what they think and what their opinions are and take account of them, you really will go a long way. So there you have it. Those are eight memorable points that will ensure that you will have a job or could start a business in the future. So. Good luck.